first and foremost, my physicians need to assure me that our patients are ready for surgery. Adrenals, thyroids, hormones, especially because hormones are directly connected to blood clotting factors. And of course, that becomes the responsibility of our physician to make sure that that system is working. Um, uh, again, thyroid, adrenals, blood clotting factors. So that's step number one. Step number two, when I go in there as an advanced surgeon to remove these capsulated infections, in a way, what am I really doing? I'm spreading that infection now throughout the system. So how do I protect my patients? Well, if you talk to a microbiologist, infection control doctors, pathologists, mostly allopathic mind, they tell me that, yes, put your patient on three to five different types of antibiotics. Why three to five? Well, we know that these are superbugs. As soon as you give start them on the first dose, these superbugs have babies and their babies have babies and they come immune to that antibiotic. So you got to hit them with another one and another one. But can you imagine what that does to one system? Destroys your gut, allows even more fungal and candida issue. And you know, your gut is your first line of defense. You, we have more lymphatic connection to our gut than any other part of the body. So the other option is immune modulation. And that's, again, goes to the expertise of the uh, doctors that I go with to make sure through certain supplementations, intravenous IV supports of vitamin C, especially, especially ozone before and after surgeries to start, and other factors too, um, to help to prevent the die off and downfall of these patients. So that's number two. Number three, and this is again, most important part of all, whenever you remove a chronic issue away from the body, that for example, patient had their wisdom teeth extracted 20 years ago, or they have a root canal that was done 15 years ago. And these areas are abscessed, are infection, they're harboring biofilms, bunch of different bugs, viruses, bacteria, fungus, parasites, full of dead bone around them. So when I go in there and remove that entity, the immune system is like, wow, great. I don't have to deal with this anymore. What am I gonna do next? And believe it or not, this is the hardest part for me to try to explain to the doctors that I work with. These doctors are so sometimes monolithic, they only think of a certain compartment of the body instead of looking at the whole body. So as soon as one of these chronic issues is taken away from the system, at that time, the body either wants something or it wants to dump something, and mostly is heavy metals. Now, that also has its own ripple effect. Whenever the body starts dumping heavy metals, well, the body at the same time at the same time says, "Oh, oh, heavy metal toxicity. Let me dump some candida." So that's why I can only work with a few physicians in the states right now that truly understand that and are able to predict what's going to happen to the system and be able to protect our patients. So basically, that's in a nutshell.